from the NWTV studios on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University. This is 7 News. Hello and thank you for choosing NWTV. I'm Tara Owen with a quick look at this week's headlines. A new Miss Northwestern was crowned this past Saturday. Jessica Davis from Woodward won the title of Miss Northwestern 2025. Also crowned was a new Miss Northwestern's teen, Madeline Ryerson from Alba. Larson Howard was also named Miss Northwestern Star 2025. Miss Northwestern's first runner-up was Nora Scarborough. Second runner-up and People's Choice went to Jack C. Cloud. Third runner-up was Kaylin Aldridge. And fourth runner-up went to Sophia Youngman. Miss Northwestern and Miss Northwestern's teen will be heading to Miss Oklahoma this June. This past Saturday, Northwestern football took on Oklahoma Baptist at home. The Rangers jumped on board first and never lost the lead, holding on to a 30-28 victory over the Bison. Northwestern will return to action on Saturday afternoon against Henderson State for the final home game of the season. It will also be senior night as well. Kickoff is scheduled for 2 o'clock. Northwestern's rodeo is coming up this week. Our Ali Huber has the details. Carrie Duvall is a senior ag business major from Oakdale, California. Duvall is on the rodeo team and participates in calf rope and team roping events. He says his freshman year he often got jokes f about being from California. Uh, I mean, you catch a lot of like jokes your way. Like oh, yeah. my freshman year, they called me Cali because I was from California, and I mean it. It was funny. I thought, ha ha. But once you talk to people, and they realize that like you're not from by San Francisco or LA. Like people would ask me like, oh, how far are you from LA? And I was like, seven hours away. Like, yeah. and I was like, actually, like where I live, we have a lot of cattle. And I kind of realized that I'm from a part that's kind of like here. Yeah. Duvall grew up around horses as his mom and uncle were involved with rodeo and his uncle raises cutting horses. And then my uncle, he trains cutting horses back home. And so I spent a lot of summers down there hanging out. And then whenever I was like sixth, seventh grade, he was helping some kids. I had a horse. I started roping with them, but I still played baseball and sports, so I just roped during the summers. And then whenever I was a freshman in high school, I decided that I wanted to just rope. And so I started rodeoing, and I quit playing all my other sports. Duvall said he made a name for himself when he won the Alba Rodeo his freshman year. Well, let's see. Uh, so my freshman year, I was able to win Alva. So it had been 2021, 20, I won Alva. The hometown college rodeo that was awesome. Everybody was there. Kind of, kind of put me on the map in Alva. Like people kind of realized, like, hey, like this Californian kid ain't bad. Winning Alva was pretty fun. Like I didn't think I won it. Like I come back, I came back. They bring top 12 back, and so they go slowest to fastest, and so I came back fifth, fifth fastest from my first calf, and I made a decent run. I didn't think it was great. I think I was 10 something, and so I was standing in the back waiting and I was like oh, I wonder where I'll end up placing and uh, Alva they have a champions match so they have like somebody that went to Alva an alumni that was on the rodeo team roping the match and the winner of that event ropes against them I think for like 300 bucks and so they're like hey like you won it I was like I did what and like I, I think I already had like my horse was uncinched I had my rope put away like I, I didn't really think about it I don't even know if I paid attention about the champions match like I was just happy to make a short go like and uh and so I actually got to I had to match Stockton for it and so he missed and then I broke my rope so it was a draw and we haven't run it back yet but I don't know maybe, maybe one day he'll want to match me again. The rodeo will start this Thursday night at the Woods County Fairgrounds. All Northwestern students will get in free with their student ID. The Lady Ranger basketball team has a reading program that has impacted local communities. Our Ely Noble found out why the teens are going into the local elementary schools. The Northwestern Oklahoma State University Lady Rangers are proving their commitment not only on the court but also in the community. Members of the women's basketball team recently visited local elementary schools to read to young students and inspire the next generation as they traded their basketball for books as they stepped into local classrooms eager to spend time with the students. This program, which encourages reading and role modeling, 
is part of NWOSU's ongoing commitment to community involvement. Um, it's just a great opportunity for our kids to get out in the, to the community um, and to give back because these communities are the ones that are supporting us and come to our games. Um, a bunch of these kids are our camp kids that we see in the summer that come to our basketball camps, so it's fun to see them in a different setting and for them to see us in a different setting than in a gym. So, For senior Peyton Jones, this visit was particularly meaningful. She remembers looking up to the college athletes when she was their age and hopes to leave a lasting impression on the young students today. And it was something that I've always been around just because I'm from Alva and growing up, looking up to the older kids was something that we always loved to like see and interact with. The Lady Rangers hope these visits will encourage young students to keep reading and reach for their dreams, whether those dreams are on the court, in the classroom, or beyond. A wonderful way to give back and inspire the future generation. Great work by the Lady Rangers. We wish them the best for their upcoming season. The Lady Rangers will play Winona State on November 8th at home. The Rialto Theater on Alva's downtown square has been a staple of our community for decades. We recently went behind the scenes to get an inside look of this Alva landmark. Well, then COVID hit in 2020, and that just almost killed us. I mean, it was pretty much, it was just everything was going streaming and that. Despite the tough years, Rialto has been a family-owned theater for decades. Well, the Rialto itself has been in my family for three generations. My grandfather came into Alva in the late 20s. Growing up, some of Jesse's favorite memories were spent in the theater. But I love being down here. Um, Love going to work with my dad. I remember sitting out in the booth out front selling tickets with him. Rialto has been providing entertainment to the Alpha community since 1929. They appreciate that it's still here and it's it's an option. You know, Alpha doesn't have a lot of things to do and it gives people an option of entertainment. It's, uh, it's a lot cheaper than the big cities, I think, um, just ticket wise, concession wise. So I think it's an affordable option of entertainment. Um, it's just like, I think for Alva, it's like a centerpiece of the square. Smile 2, Speak No Evil, and The Wild Robot will all be playing this week at Rialto. That's a look at this week's headlines. For more, head to rangerpulse.com.